Good morning, folks. We've got excellent journal articles today, some geophysics, and a sun calm like a warrior in a garden. We'll start with our star and find that while the plasma filaments were a bit active, it was the collapse and shift variety rather than the eruptive variety. Coronal holes confined to the polar regions, but we do still have other filaments to watch in a fair number of sunspot groups. Largest one incoming on the north. Thus far, all of them have remained relatively quiet. The solar wind has also quieted back down to normal range, but geomagnetic conditions have remained intermittently unstable. Hopefully, that's just long-lasting reverberations, rather than an intrinsic issue of destabilization amid Earth's ongoing geomagnetic excursion. Quick seismic note, we often see volcanic upticks at Iceland when they take five pointers, and they did overnight. Several potential volcanic areas to watch on the island. We've got a sea surface salinity visualization from SVS, which appears to show the more recent desalinization effects of melting peripheral ice at the polar region. We're off to the journals, where we begin with yet another confirmation of the centennial control of the climate by the sun. It's a nice complement to the confirmations we've recently seen on decadal and millennial forcing by our star, and as the paper states, it is the most complete and convincing tie-in of the observable patterns in the weather and those on the sun at the centennial scale. A fantastic piece of literature to close out. This one examines the dust of a comet and is able to tie its features to crossings of the heliospheric current sheet, the sun's mid-plane electric field running through the solar system. The reorganization of the dust in the comet tail is due to Lorentz forces, the force on the charged dust as it moves through the sun's electric and magnetic fields. And I don't think there could be a more on-point reminder of how the galactic dust is similarly reorganized by the galactic current sheet one of the things deeply impacting our solar system at this time, visible in both interplanetary space and the corona, and forcing the changes on the spheres of our system. We greatly appreciate your support, from the climate forcing to Earth's geomagnetic excursion to the galactic dust and solar system shift. Pretty much everything discussed today can be deeper dived with the playlist found below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.